Welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video we will talk about what's difference between the European and American washing machines. Which of these systems is more effective? Before we start, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos about the difference between European and American products. First difference. Better cleaning. The effectiveness of cleaning is influenced by factors such water temperature, detergent concentration, wash cycle duration, and drum motion. Compared to top loaders, front loaders are superior at removing stains and grime. Additionally, front loaders do a better job of dispersing the detergent throughout the load. In front loading washers, the tumbling action of the drums enhances the effectiveness of the cleaning process. Additionally damaging to delicate clothes, top-loading washing machines twist and tug the fabric. In top-loading washers, there are typically two different types of motors used to power the washing drums, agitator and impeller motors. Impeller washers move the clothing with the aid of fins in the drum's bottom, whereas agitator washers move the clothes around a central post. None of them can clean as uniformly as front-loading dishwashers. Second difference. Faster wash cycles. Due to the fact that the clothing are submerged in water throughout the whole wash cycle, top-loading washing machines typically wash clothes faster. The quickest wash cycles are found in top-loading, agitator-equipped washing machines. On the other hand, impeller washers are more expensive since they take longer to complete a typical wash cycle but clean better, hold more loads each cycle, and use significantly less water. Every typical wash cycle in front-loading washing machines takes, on average, 60 minutes. Although the majority of front-loading washers have a rapid wash cycle that lasts 30 minutes or less, these cycles are typically for lighter loads. More money is spent on front-loading models that can handle larger loads during short wash cycles. Third difference. Faster dryer spin cycles. Before the cloths are delivered to the dryer, front-loading washers remove more water from the laundry. Additionally, Front-loading ones spin 33% faster than traditional top-loading ones. In front-loading washing machines, clothes dry more quickly in the dryers, and moving them between the two appliances is also easier. Some front-loading washing machines may vibrate and make a lot of noise during the dryer spin cycle. Don't choose a front-loading washer with a spin speed of less than 1,200 RPMs, a decent washer should have a spin speed of 1,300 RPMs. On the other hand, a typical top-loading washer has a speed range of 700 to 900 rpm. Fourth difference. Convenience. The average height of top-loading washing machines makes it easy for consumers to reach inside. If not set on a pedestal, front-loading ones require users to stoop over to access them. Therefore, top-loading ones are more practical because users can load and unload clothes without bending over. Additionally, Top-loading washers have greater fabric softener distribution than front-loading ones. Although the majority of contemporary washing machines allow consumers to add clothing mid-cycle and are available in both loading styles. Fifth difference. Silent operation. Most contemporary washing machines, including top and front loaders, have anti-vibration sound dampening functions. If the washing room is next to a living room or bedroom, this feature is useful. However, top-loading washing machines typically make more noise during the entire wash cycle. Sixth difference. Efficiency. According to studies, front-loading washers typically use 2,000 fewer gallons of water annually than top-loading washers. Since they use less water, front-loading ones also require less detergent. A front-loading washing machine's end-of-cycle drum rotation eliminates more water from the clothing, reducing the amount of time needed to dry them. Always look for the Energy Star label to select one that is effective and won't result in a hefty monthly electricity bill. Seventh difference. Maintenance. Mold growth around the rubber gasket on the door of front-loading washing machines is the most frequent problem. Therefore, front-loading washers require more regular cleaning than top-loading ones. Self-clean cycles, surfaces with antimicrobial coatings, and unique vent systems are just a few of the ways manufacturers are developing to combat this issue. Top-loading washing machines, on the other hand, don't have mold issues because water is pulled down by gravity, thus they don't need to be maintained. Top-loaders have an open circulation through the lid and no seals or gaskets to collect water. Eighth difference. 
easier to fit. Due to the ability to stack the dryer on top or arrange front load washers side by side, they can save space. The typical width for front loading ones is 27 inches, however some brands prefer the more condensed 24 inch option. Customers can use ventless dryers in conjunction with their front loading washers. Instead of letting out the warm, muggy air, these dryers employ condensation to remove the water from the tub. Compact alternatives are not available for top loading ones. But before choosing the best one, it's crucial to measure your area, particularly the depth and door swings. Ninth difference, style and looks. Compared to top loading washing machines, front loading ones look more contemporary. Glass doors and a sleek design enhance the appearance of front loading ones. Tenth and last difference, budget friendliness. Front loading washing machines are typically more expensive. Front loading ones may be worthwhile if money is not a concern. It is preferable to get a top loading option with simpler, older technology if you're seeking for an economical solution. Thank you for watching this video.